Hello everybody, it's going to be a little fire alarm video. So today we're going to be doing a fire drill. As you can see we've got our fire drill timer. Showed this in a previous video. And, and we're going to be doing a fire drill. So we're going to do it at 12.50. So, go hit the program button. Now there is one program in here for 10 o'clock. And now we're going to... We're gonna leave that one. Now if we go to program two, you can see that there's nothing programmed. So let's hit the hour button. We're gonna hit hour. We're gonna go set the hour to 12. This is in 24 hour time, keep in mind. And then the minutes, we're gonna go to 50. There, we're gonna do on, off, we're going to do 12.52, oops, went too far for the hours. So we're gonna do 12.52 for the system. Well, the alarms will be going off for two minutes, which is about normal amount of time for a fire drill. Set that to 12.52. There we go, it's programmed. Hit the clock button. Now, I'm gonna like this. We're gonna unlock the timer now so that when it does trip, it will set off the alarms. I'm gonna turn it to auto. So the timer is gonna actually turn on. And I'll leave the keys in there. Alright, alright. It is now 12.48 now. Probably 1249. It's got about a minute. So, the alarm goes Waiting in the furnace room this time because typically for fire drills, we always either done wait, wait in the garage and in the bedroom. So, we're in the furnace room this time. Let's see how you can see through the furnace. So, do you remember? There's a buzzer here. There, see those two holes and then the fire label right there? There used to be a buzzer right there, I believe it or not, if you remember. It's the pull station. So, now, this particular alarm is louder than a loud. It also could be because there's top concrete fluorine, the furnace ducts, a lot of stuff for the sound to bounce off of, so that's why it makes it loud. Strobe is flashing there. Stop for a little bit. Then we'll back in. All right, I think that's it.
Okay, so now we're back in here. Now we're gonna set this to off. Like that, and we're gonna lock that. Lock that. So, here we go. No, no need to reset the the control panel because that this bypasses the latching circuit. So that's why I want the timer shut off the system shut off. So yeah. Well that's pretty much it.